This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Now we'll talk about Visual Force page in Salesforce. What is Visual Force page? What is the main use of Visual Force page? How do we create VF page? And where are the different scenarios that we'll use the VF page? Mm -hmm. This is just this will just cover what the basics of VF page. Uh, in the next session, we'll talk about the details about VF, what are the features that is there in VF page, and what are the things in detail in next section. Okay. But for this session, we'll talk about just basics okay. of VF page. Okay. Now, what is VF page? Visual Force page is just like a normal web page that is available in normal day-to-day -day scenarios. What is web page? Any web application that has like any Amazon. UI. Amazon is one Facebook. web page. Facebook is one web page. It has one its own functionalities and it has its own server connecting to its backend. Now, what is the use of VF page in Salesforce? If you want to create a page with a custom UI with some custom functionalities that you want to implement, suppose for example you want to implement just like a Amazon search in your own Salesforce, then you have to implement all the Amazon related UI like search bar and friend and everything, and like it has some custom UI what based on your customization based on your requirement, you will create your own you will design your own UI, and if you want to do that. The, one, the best place is to create a VF page in Salesforce. So if we know how, how to create VF page, mm -hmm. so we can uh, develop any web pages like Amazon, Facebook. The, the difference between web page and Salesforce VF pages, web pages are available outside Salesforce. So VF page is available only in inside Salesforce. Salesforce. Platform. Yeah, one you have to log in to Salesforce. access that page. Okay, there are other features also like you can create a site. You can create a website in Salesforce also using Salesforce sites, and you can make it as public just like Amazon. Mm -hmm. There is also such kind of features in Salesforce. Okay. But for now, for basic use of sales vf pages if the whatever ui which they are giving so suppose for example this is the one one of the ui which salesforce is giving like home page there is home page it has a sidebar it has the home page like which will show the calendar and everything but this page is standard page provided by salesforce, salesforce. so, we, so cannot... we can create custom vf page so the same the same thing if you want to customize everything, whatever is there here, you can create a VF page and create a sidebar here like this and put all the <coughs> headers here like this and whatever UI that you want, you can put it in. Mm. Okay, but this one is provided by Salesforce. If you go to teachers tab, for example, it has sidebar, it has this view, everything. But this is the standard page, okay. which is created by Salesforce. Salesforce. Once you create a tab, this page will be automatically available. Yeah. But if you want to make this customized, uh, no, I, I don't want to see. Uh, I want when I click on go, uh, I am getting all the list of all the teachers in this one. If there is any teachers record yeah. here, uh, I don't want to see this table. I want to see uh, the table in uh, grid way, for example, one one record in one grid, one record in another grid, like tiles. So you want to you cannot do it with this page because it's a standard which. Salesforce is providing. If you want to do that, then you have to go ahead and create a VF page for it. Okay. Okay. So any UI. So uh, with we, with the v, VF page, we can design uh, your own UI. UI, as a means in what way if you want. Yeah, you can design you it can and design. you can configure. That. You can uh, write a code for it. Okay. Okay. And. One more good feature is like with the VF page, there are a few standard tags that we can use. With few standard tabs. Tags. 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 Okay. okay. With the tags, you can directly 
uh, communicate with the server. Like you can directly can communicate with the data. You mm -hmm. don't need to write an Apex class and everything. Okay. Suppose you want to see any of the teacher record directly, you, you can directly create use a standard controller and you can use uh, the uh, whatever data is there in that record and you can use that. Okay. But that we will cover in detail section in next se next okay. session. Mm -hmm. Now we'll talk about what we yes, have talked about. What page. is your page? And we say web page. Web page is nothing but web page. Web page, which is inside Salesforce. Which is inside. Which, which is has available only in Salesforce. Salesforce. And it and it has a capability to communicate with Salesforce data. Okay. With VF page, we can communicate with the Salesforce data. Yeah, of Salesforce server and get the Salesforce data. Okay. And next thing is how do we create a VF page? Okay. To create a VF page, I'll go to setup. In the develop section, there is a section called Visual Force page. Okay. Okay. Now we'll create a new VF page. Okay. I'll give some example here, like a um, demo page. Okay. Now by default, it gives some template. This is the sample format that it should be. Okay. Apex page tags Apex. is an important thing. It, it should start with Apex page and with, and Apex, with Apex page. page. OK. And this is normal HTML tags, which is there. Like okay. H1 is header. OK. And this is a normal paragraph. OK. okay. And what I'll do, I'll create. I'll just save this. OK. Now there is a page called demo, demo page. page. To access this page, how do you access this page? The API name of this page is demo, demo page. OK. To access this page, suppose I'm in this. This is my domain. URL should have Apex in it okay. and the demo page. Page name. Page name. OK, whatever the page name. The page name is demo page. OK, now I'll open this. See now what happened? Congratulations. congratulations. This is the new page. But the, the congratulations. This is the new page. But it is not showing the page name there. Demo this page. is the page demo page. Here in the UI it is. So what showing. you have, whatever record you have written, it will show. Okay, mm -hmm. now I'll show you. Okay, now what, what it is showing in this page, it is showing sidebar. And it's showing some data, okay. But it, this is the standard. Yeah, what I'll do is sidebar. There is one option, okay. Make it as false. Okay, what it will, I'll refresh this page. Sidebar gone. Okay, even okay. we can remove this also. Home on teachers. And now I'll go here. Uh, show header. False. What happened? I'll see. Gone. Everything. What is happening? Only Just some page showing congratulations. This is a new page. Okay. Okay. Now see what is happening here. With this show header, it is taking all the styles. Like it shows all the take the color and everything. Okay. Okay. But one each we'll talk about each tags and everything later. Okay. Okay. This is the basic things like this has few tags. Mm -hmm. I'll remove this for now. Save this. Okay. I have home tab. Congratulations. This is a new page. Okay. Okay. Now I'll remove everything. Everything gone. Okay, now there is one tag called Apex header. Mm. 
page block section page block so what is happening here it will create a block for you block page block okay okay now i'll show like apex page block section what is the section name demo demo page okay okay Okay, in this section, I'll create this is in page section. Okay. Now what happened? Okay, this is page block. This is section. Inside section, there's some text. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now I want to see the teacher style is this one. In if you click on teacher, the header is color is coming as this one. Yeah. I want to use the same color, so I can use directly the tab tab name, tab style, teachers. What is the tab name? This object, huh? So we need to use API name for this. Yes. So now what happened? <coughs> the color got changed. Same. As teachers tab. Okay. Now see what happens. I'll say uh, show header is false. No. Yes, it will remove the this header center section. header is gone, right? It will go right. Yeah. It go and teachers, but we have only this. This page block is there. This is section, and, and this, this is. is the... yes. Now you can collapse, collapse it, expand it. Collapse expand. Okay. Okay. I oh, know I want I don't want that collapse. So I'll remove collapsible is false. false. So I'll go I'll see refresh. I cannot, we cannot collapse. collapse. So this is the page section. Okay. Got it? So I like that. So if you want to see, okay, now you want to put some text here. Uh, put some field apex input label is uh, search To use this input, you have to use form. Okay, apex. I'm creating a form inside it. Okay, form. Okay. Form is you want you are filling something. Okay. If you want to fill something, you have to use form tag, and inside that I'm using one text field. Okay. What will happen is it created on text field. Okay. You need to fill it in. So I'll put something. Okay. Got it? Yes. Okay. But here it sh it's not showing any uh, label. What is this field? What should I fill? If it is yes. email, I should give you. I should see email here, it's, right? Yeah. It's not showing anything. Anything. Okay. Yeah. Now to do that, what I but I gave is label. 
but it's not showing label also. Okay, we'll see later on. Otherwise, you can put one moment. Fx page block. I'll put this form outside. Let's see what how it is happening. First page block and last is page block. Sorry, yeah. page. Yeah. Second is page block. Page but block. last one and but one is page block. Next I open form. Closing form. So it should be in So like that only it should be. Okay. Order. You should not close in between. So I open form. Yes. Insert section. There is section. And after that form close. Yeah. Page block section open. Close. Yes. Inside it, there is input section. Okay. Yes. Now what I'll do is there is one thing called in page block section item. Inside this, I'll put search. Okay. One more thing is. Output label, what is it? Name. Name. <coughs> now I'll refresh this. What happened? It is showing label. Okay, now it's showing far away. This is again somewhere it's somewhere. Yeah. Right? Columns four. Okay. Hmm? Is it columns? I said I want output text name and it label is name. Okay. Color I can remove now, I think. In the section item, I just put two label text. Input text. Okay, in place of input text, I'll put input text area. Mm -hmm. What it will show difference is see now it is normal, right? Yeah. Text area is big one. Big. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. got it? Yes. So, like that, you can create the form. Which page? Uh, we can create a page. page. Like that, there are multiple tags. Mm -hmm. Okay, each and every tag has its, its own uh, functionalities and features. Okay. Okay, we'll talk all those things in next section. Yeah. Okay, now we created a sample page. Yes. And where can we use it there are different ways that we can use okay for example you want to use this page as a one bar tab here okay then you can go ahead and create a tab, tab. called demo now there are different types of tabs right yeah visual force page tab you have to create okay directly we need to create visual force tabs okay which page it is Demo page. Yeah. Okay. Demo page. Name is demo. Search demo. I'll give one style here. Okay. But just splash page custom link. Okay. I'm adding it to the all apps. And I created a page. So once I click on this. Open that. Okay. Yeah. So another way. 
another way also you can can use okay mm -hmm. for example you want to use this this page mm -hmm. uh, on account detail page for example teacher i will take an example as teacher okay uh, i'll create one teacher card This is my detail page. Okay. okay. Now here I want to show some uh, indicator, red color mark, or some other things. Yeah. Okay. There is some requirement, but I cannot put anything on that here. Yes. So here I'll put I can put VF page inside this page, inside. but this is standard page. Salesforce is giving this. Okay. We cannot. It's not a VF page, but inside this. I can put some custom thing. Whatever logic you can write it, you can write everything. Can write it in what, what color you want, what put what shells you want, everything you can write. Okay, now I'll, I I can put a VF page in this. Okay. okay. To put a VF page in this, you have to use a standard controller. Standard controller. And use that object name, whichever object that you want to put. Okay. For example, I want to use this page as teacher's object. I'm using standard controller as teacher. Teacher's API name. Okay. Now, if I go here and I will go and edit layout on the teacher record. Okay. Visual force page in the mm -hmm. layout. Mm -hmm. So you can see here the demo page. Yes. Only one page is coming here because only one VF page is using standard controller as teacher. Okay. Now if I remove this and refresh this, and go to VF page. You cannot say VF page also at least. There is no VF page option with standard controller as teachers, so it's not showing. So. I'll remove, I revert header, so I'm just putting standard controller as teacher. And I'm refreshing this. Now on the teacher layout, there's a VF page called demo page. Okay. So now I can create a new section here. So like, if you want, okay, we need to add that standard controller. Yeah, we need to add the standard controller. Then only we can see the see visual force page for the corresponding object. Okay. Save. So there are n number of tags like that. Uh, if we want to create visual force page. Yeah, in the in the VF page, these are number of tags that you want. Each tag has its own features. Okay. For example, standard controller. What is a feature? Something like that. Okay. Now. If you're using standard controller, right? Yes. And you're using standard controller here. Without standard controller, we cannot edit. We cannot uh, put the layout, put the page in the layout. Layout. Detailed page layout. Okay. Okay. Now, for one feature I'm telling you. Okay. In standard controller, you're using standard controller teacher, right? Yes. In the value here, right? What I'll do is. Teacher dot name. Input. Apex. Input field value teacher dot name. Okay. To comment any of this, you can do like this. Now what happened? I commented this. Okay. Yes. This will not come. And there is a one field called I added input field teacher dot name. Now what happened? If you refresh this, you 
Je vais monter aussi un ton. Whatever is there here, the value also coming here automatically. Yeah. Okay, I'll update this. This is also binded automatically. Okay. This is coming because you are using standard controller as teacher, and you are using input field. So whatever is there in this, whatever it will come update, also. Automatically it will also automatically come. Automatically, it will, it will come. update in our VF page. Also. Okay. Yeah. Suppose you don't have email here. What is the email you have? Dummy email to to write. Yeah. So I'll remove that. Okay. I'll remove this. Okay. Now, in the input field. Email underscore underscore C. You don't have email here. But it is what showing, it is showing here. here. Because this record has email field, which is hidden in edit layout. It is hidden. So okay. we are hiding it. But record has this value. So this VF page is pulling that and showing it. Okay. Okay, so like this, you can create a VF page and you can use this in like this in two different places. One is directly creating a tab, <coughs> opening it automatically. Once you now, if I open this tab, it will not show anything because this is not have any ID. Okay, now this has. Now this page is in this record. I can see whatever record it is there and whatever value it is there. Got it? Yeah. So we covered what is VF page, main use of VF page, and where can we use VF page in real time? Okay. Yeah. Only two ways. There are multiple ways, but these are the mainly used ways of create using VF page. One is uh, directly creating tabs. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you can create a link here on the sidebar. Once you if, click on link, it will open that, this. It will yeah, open, open that. So page. at the end, this is the page. It should be like page should have apex. URL should have apex and demo page. And this page will name. this this URL will open this page by default. Okay. And link will have url like this so what whatever link you have right you can create give this link like this is with the link you open this link this will open this vf page so there like that we can create multiple ways uh how can you open this vf page and how can you access this vf page okay mm -hmm. yeah we'll talk about the in details of this vf page in next session yeah. Any doubts? Any questions? Thank you.